Good morning, everyone. You guys thought I disappeared from the SnowRunner space. However, I disappeared for the meantime from the expedition space. But however, yeah, we're going to get back into uh, a little bit of hard mode here. I really, the reason I didn't start streaming here an hour ago, because I was debating on whether or not which game I was going to stream today. And... Uh, yeah, I just thought I would just fire up SnowRunner, see if I can get some scouting done today. Who knows, if we get scouting done pretty quick, I'm going to try to press. Maybe I'll get scouting done and then we'll be, maybe I'll switch to another game, I don't know. Or just maybe I'll just press on. Um, I've not disappeared. I've had, a, I got a lot of people, if you look at my current video that's up, which is my stream VOD from yesterday. Um, I am indeed done playing Expeditions for the time being. Um, for the foreseeable future. So, there have been a lot of people very upset about that, which is kind of funny when <laughs> people get upset that uh, you just have a personal preference. But good morning, Lednor. Good morning, Toilet Paper. Sumhe, good morning. Trumpet, good morning. So, yeah, let's get started, guys. We're going to... Season 11, we are one season behind where the current SnowRunner devs have uh, have thrown content at us, so Velocity, welcome in. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to press. Press forward. I don't think this region will take too long. I probably think around I'm probably saying going to be 25 to 30 hours, to be quite honest. Probably the same. I really debated on playing Diablo 2 today or like World of Warships. What's up, Rom? Good morning. First time since Wisconsin, I'm watching this man play hardcore. Wait, you haven't watched hardcore since Wisconsin? What? Uh, let's see here. Am I going to just get the load star out and just push this forward? It might happen, actually. <laughs> it might happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. Okay, well, this is what we're going to do. I probably have to get used to the controls again because uh, we might roll out with that gunmetal, bro. I don't even know. Let's see. I'm going to sw swap up these colors. You're seeing black screen? Oh, that's right. Hold on one second, y'all. Give me a second. Let me... Uh, let me fix this. Um, game capture properties. 
Snow Runner. There we go. Sorry about that. The game capture wasn't picking up, so. We're we're here. I think it's about to be load ma load master, load star up in here, just Gosh, that's a terrible color. Just a rightly terrible. <laughs> You know what? I kind of just like that blue. All right. Have I seen the film Only the Brave? Uh, I think I have. What is that one about? If you could remind me. Oh, look, that's nice. Yep, gotta take this. Let me head up to this tower. Only the brave. I'm trying to think. Dude, this music is great. You know what? The music in Expedition was great, especially in uh, Carpathia. But. Yes, that was actually in. That was actually in Prescott. So the thing is, I used to live in Prescott, Arizona. Gosh, I keep hitting the, the controls for uh, expeditions. Yeah, those are the uh, the hot shots, the Granite Mountain hot shots, right? Yep. I think that happened in like 20... I think that happened in 2018 or 19. Might have been 17. I'm not sure. Uh, I got to... I moved to Prescott in 2019, but yeah. Green amount hot shots, man. Only the brave. This feels the controls feel very weird at the moment, to be honest. So it's it's probably gonna take me a little bit, guys, to get used to all this. Um, like, dude, I'm I'm just trying to think here, like my progression. The event was in 2014, the film was 2017. Okay, that's good to know. I might go up this way, grab that, grab this, come back to the road, grab this, grab that, this, and then that, and then, then just continue. So I think that's gonna be my move this time. I know I did a little bit different. I, I basically went straight for Burlack on the main playthrough just because I wanted to have it for review content, but we're going to, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to sell the burlac. I actually might sell the burlac when I get it. Power generator. There. Don't switch back. I'm not going to switch back. Controls are fine. You never played expeditions. I keep hitting stuff. I keep hitting L1. I don't even have... L1's just my, my lights for this game. Alright, so what I need to do currently is... The plan... Man, I have... It's crazy. It's crazy how many more people watch the, watch the SnowRunner streams than, than anything else. Uh, but I do expect... There's gonna be a lot of people that do unfollow me on, on YouTube because of my current video out. But that's fine. That's fine. People get their their feelings hurt. That's it's okay. So the, the current thing is I'm going to take this trailer. Um, I know I don't really need this much, only for like maybe two small parts of this, but I'm taking it anyways, because the Lodestar really doesn't care about um, what it pulls behind it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this trailer and I'm also going to go grab this scout fuel trailer that's on the southwestern side of the map and I'm going to use those two to basically just full scout this map and hopefully one push. And that's kind of like the, uh, that's kind of the thing. 
The muscle memory is coming back. It's coming back, guys. So, looking, to be honest, actually, you know what? I think I lost a hundred followers. This is crazy. Listen to this. I lost a hundred followers from last stream. I had 1.6, and right now it's saying 1.5 thousand followers. <laughs> Just because I quit expeditions. <laughs> the, the, and the funny thing is, I think people, people think, there's a couple folks that thought I quit expeditions because, uh, because it was hard. And that is, that is not why. I mean, there was, there was no part of expeditions I struggled with. I mean, I never felt like I was in a struggle. I did, I did enjoy it for some parts of it, but I mean, I, I necessarily wasn't struggling at any point. I think for a lot of folks, they're going to struggle with it. This is for a mission. I know that for sure. I probably could grab that, but it's fine. I don't really care. But yeah. Sometimes Twitch cleans up the fall. I probably should be. That's probably it, actually. It's either. I know. I know for a fact that I lost uh, a good many subscribers on YouTube, actually, from the last last posted video. No, man. I gotta say though, man, it feels good to be back in SnowRunner. Welcome in, Eric. Welcome in, Akimoto. Welcome in, guys. We almost streamed something else. We almost streamed something else today. It almost happened. It almost was like a, a Diablo 2 stream. Star doesn't care about anything you have to offer. I'm not worried about this mission right now either. Have any played any War Thunder planes specifically? No, I've played I've played World of War planes for a brief time. I've played World of Tanks, and I've also I am still kind of playing World of Warships. That's another game I was going to play today, actually. It was going to be... It was going to be World of Warships. I was say, would you say the Lodestar is your go-to scout above all in hardcore? I would probably say so. I would say if you want something... Anything that's... Uh, any type of dirty task. <laughs> I would say this. The, lo the Lodestar is just... Uh, what's up, Dunlops? Welcome in. Um... The Lodestar is just one of those vehicles, and it's one of the only, like, NA vehicles that I'm... There's very few NA vehicles that are just crazy powerful, right? The Lodestar is one of them. Absolutely, it's, it's just one of them. Um, it, it's just an incredible vehicle. It's just tr extremely stable. It's literally half truck, half scout. Um... Oh, Rom, you asked me if I've ever played uh, any type of War Planes on War Thunder. I haven't played War, War Thunder. I've actually played World of War Planes, World of Tanks, and also World of Warships. I still play World, World of Warships, actually. Which, that was a game I was going to stream today as well. That was one of them. It was either this, Diablo 2, Resurrected, or um, SnowRunner. And I thought everyone would like to see Snow Runner since since I stopped playing Expedition. So I'm a man of the people. If I don't wreck my truck, welcome in Dunlop. Thank you for that follow, by the way. Okay, so I grabbed all these tasks here. I'm gonna go back this way. And grab this real quick. I probably need to go grab Eastern Bridge. I might flush this way. Actually, no, I'm not going to go that way. You know what? I'm actually going to not go this way. 
we're going to go back here, here, grab this here, and then I'm going to head for that tower. Yeah. I need to get my, I need to secure my fuel for this whole scouting mission if I want to do this all in one pass. You split world of tanks years ago, but last two years I'm totally addicted to War Thunder. You know, people have been telling me good things about War Thunder. To be honest, actually Telemenis posted a, a video, actually really funny, it's actually really good. Telemenis, uh, he, I think he used to be an old World of Tanks player too. Um, he just got into War Thunder, just posted a video on it, and I thought it was, I thought it was great. What am I doing here? But yeah, you guys should go check that out. I think so too. I think I would probably like it. I think I'm a little bit... I think with uh, my gaming time, my hands are, are very much tied, I would say. And they're going to be very much even more tied whenever the year four content comes out for SnowRunner. I'm going to be doing reviews and stuff like that. And, you know, the nerd stuff that we have on the channel. Yeah, that's kind of it. It's hard to fit games into play. Yeah, I know the feeling. I've been playing and watching World War II planes. It's very fun. It does sound fun. You know, I remember getting stuck here before. Oh, I'll just go with the current. Yep, when in doubt, just drop your trailer, turn your tires, and then your truck will pull out. And that's all things, all things we've noted. DLCs are flight sim. Akimoto, man, if I had a better computer, I would tell you yes. <laughs> if I had a better computer, my man. But be honest, man, I'm, I'm literally playing on a gaming laptop, streaming at the same time. And, and while I could, I could probably run high settings on like uh, expeditions and stuff like that and stream at the same time, just because it's not as demanding on SnowRunner, it's, it's much more demanding. I just don't, I'd be getting like maybe 10 frame rates on like a flight sim. Uh, am I even going to get across this? Let's see if I can... Actually, I know this is going to be, this is going to be a rough little patch here. I actually want to kind of point my way downstream so I can actually use the stream if I have to. I don't. I'm good. Loose winch. Yeah. On a laptop, yes. I've been creating I've been creating content this whole time on a laptop. A GoFundMe. Oh dude, I don't even want to do that. I you know I always feel I always feel like I'd never want to to be that guy, I guess that is asking for, you know what? Let me do something here. Out of fuel, are you kidding me? That's right, I didn't fill you up. There, that's one, one pop. I just wanna find this road. Yeah, I never wanted to be a guy who, who like did something like that. It's almost like saying like, hey, I'm special, help me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not any, I'm not more special than anyone, anyone here. I'm not more special than anyone, period, so... I mean, I would love to have a... Financially have a better computer. It'd be great. But, uh... Realistically, it's just kind of not in the cards... Yet, but I mean, maybe one day I'll afford it. Yeah, maybe one day. Do I use a face cam ever? I used to, but what happens... 
uh, when I play games, it'll just, uh, it'll distort because it's just too much for my computer to handle. I do, like, if you go back to some of my streams, like, uh, I, I have used the face cam. And honestly, I would, I think if I had a better computer, I probably would get back into doing that reg regularly, is having a face cam. But... I used to use a face cam for like my intros and stuff like that. I don't think I should go this way, but okay. gaming laptop yeah and they're nice it is, it is a nice laptop honestly except oh. oh I remember this I remember this this is why I did this with the lodestar actually you know what we're gonna do we're gonna zip right up through here Dude, no worries about subscribing. Seriously, no worries. Keeps your mind positive. I'm happy to happy to help, man. Seriously, I don't I don't care if anyone subscribes, unfollows. I mean, if you're if you're enjoying or follows, unfollows, unsubscribes, it doesn't matter. Um, if you're enjoying the content, then that's kind of what uh. What the aim is. Oh, I kind of like this. This is nice. This is nice, man. Yes, I was a loadmaster. Yeah, in the in the military, I was a loadmaster. Punch this. Oh, wow, that's a first. What's a loadmaster? Um, it's it's kind of wow. I didn't know a tent could do that. I'm still I'm still really confused with these controls right now from expeditions. A loadmaster is essentially a is what is called an an enlisted aviator for the United States. Air Force and what they do is the job entails um, so I am I supervise the loading and unloading of all cargo and personnel on a C-17 cargo aircraft um, I also am responsible for everything that's aft of the flight deck in in and out of flight so any cargo tanks uh, tanks aircraft um, personnel Let's see. Hazardous cargo, human remains, anything that comes on, on on board, I legitimately have to I have to restrain it and tell people how to restrain it that come on the aircraft in accordance to Department of Defense Department of Defense regulations. So I have to know all that stuff. Um because essentially if you unbalance and I have to, I'm actually in charge of weight and balance as well. So I, I literally balanced the plane. It's kind of a weird thing, but if you want to look what, what happens to a plane that's unbalanced, just look up, uh, type into Google search. Uh, it's called 747 out of Bagram. That is what happens when a plane has load shift from not being tied down correctly, according to uh, air freight. So the way you tie down cargo for air freight is, is vastly different. And it's, it's actually, yeah, it's crazy because a lot of my job then was math <laughs> and I hate math. <laughs> it's kind of, so it's kind of funny. I hate math and I was afraid. Of, I'm actually afraid of heights and I, I, I was a flyer. And then after the military, I, I, I got my private pilot license and then 
Yeah, it, it went to an aviation school. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, the, um, it's it's crazy. But I, I flew on a C seventeen cargo aircraft. So like, if you look up a C seventeen, they're they're it's an amazing. It's a it really is an amazing aircraft. Um, me personally, uh, it's the best job I've ever had. So I can say that. Uh, You wouldn't have got past a Mondra without my help, dude. Seriously, thank you. So is Expeditions more demanding than this? Um. Okay, so Dunlop, that's a good question. Um, Expeditions looks a little different. Well, I'm also playing, you gotta understand, I'm playing on low settings right now because that's really all I could do when I stream SnowRunner. But I, I can play on like high settings, on uh, higher ultra, on expeditions i think they are the same engine the game is produced on the same engine as snowrunner there's a couple little tweaks they've done little additions to uh to things but overall they, it's the same engine so um I, yeah i don't know but trumpet that's awesome man that you got through a mandra with the with those uh the route runner man I'm really happy to hear that. I need to get to this scout trailer like fast. I'm running out of fuel, but I have a little bit in my in my fuel tank that I can call upon, so it's okay. Why is this going that way? But it's oh, I see. No, not that way. Yeah, they do. They do that seriously, Rom. I wasn't. That's called being airdrop certified. So they'll actually send like big cargo, like boats, cargo, personnel, and the loadmaster is the guy that sits on the ramp and, you know, sends people out the aircraft at, you know, altitudes, right? But, uh, I never, I never got air, airdrop certified. I was an instructor. There's two, there's two different qualifications you can get after you become like initially qualified. One is become an instructor so you can teach other people how to do a load mastering. And then also there is airdrop certified. Uh, I chose not to be airdrop certified because I knew I was getting out of the Air Force. I knew that for them to send me the airdrop school was like two hundred fifty thousand dollars that the DoD was gonna was gonna pay out. And uh, yeah, I just I, I didn't feel like I, I was gonna do that. You know, I knew I was getting out. There's no reason for them to spend money on me when it was gonna be wasted. No, you're okay. <laughs> you're okay with the caps. Our RAF liaison didn't like heights flying, so they let him look out back for her with the loop strap. Oh, that's funny. You're in no hurry to get expeditions? Yeah, man, I think I, I think this, man, I, I, I made a review, Dunlop, if you can go to my YouTube channel. I've made a review on it, and uh, if you'd like to see that um, and just make an informed decision on whether or not you want to get it, I, I actually quit playing it, but I'm not. I don't. I don't believe I, that everybody should just quit playing it, though. Okay, so let's do this. What's up, Jelly Beans? Welcome in. A lo so, in other words, I was a load star. Sometimes, like when I say load star, I say load master. It's it's weird. A very weird thing. Okay, so this is the, the spot down here that I have to use the trailer. So I actually might just head down this way because this is actually a nice little run. So we might just like head down. I don't know if I should go up, but we'll get this stuff here. Head over down here head go here and then up. I believe there's towers up there. So good morning, Scorpio. Welcome in. Coming back to SR, man. As promised. As promised. But first, let's let's do some refueling here. Alright. And it's nighttime. And we can't see anything. And that is hard mode on SnowRunner for you. You just subscribe to the YouTube channel and check it out later. Awesome, man.
Appreciate that, brother. You know, we were talking the other day about how deflation, deflation system of tires would be a cool thing to bring to SnowRunner, and I actually kind of rethought about this. And to be honest, I don't think that would be a good thing to implement. Even I don't really think they could implement it, but I actually I don't think it would be a good thing. And here's why. Um, you can imagine me owning one of these. I honestly I would. If I had the cash, I probably would. I'd upload all all types of pictures in real life. Yeah, I probably would. Um, he, here's here's why. Um, and we can. I can actually show this. This is actually good. Let's start out the day with some, a little bit of uh, information, right? If, I can, if it ever loads. Come on. There we go. All right. Okay, so check this out. Here's the tire inflation, the friction multipliers, okay? Now this is, these are, I think these are just tests, right? Reduced tests for low. So let's go to like reduced and low. So if you look at the multiplier, this is multiplying friction, okay? Three times. For off-road friction, 3.5. For rocks, 2, 1.3, 1.4. So, like, think about this. If you have this in SnowRunner at level 1 with highway tires, you legitimately break the game. Because here's the thing. In in expeditions, there was no, there was no area I was struggling with to crawl up any rocks at all, actually even with the base, the base tires of any vehicle that's on that game currently. Um, yes, they, I think they are, they do start out with like all trains and off roads and stuff. It's not, they don't start out with highway tires because it's a different game. I understand all that. However, these are multipliers of friction that's currently on the tire. So when you add these, this is the reduced, this is the test low, the actual low setting 3.5 that means you're you're timesing your your friction by 3.5, 3, 1.3. 3. This would break SnowRunner. You you would have basically it would mean that any time that you shifted down to low and just decreased your pressure, even if you had highway tires, you just automatically had the codes of like I don't know. I I can't crunch the numbers right now, but I, I probably 2 to 3, maybe even like yeah, pay probably two more Two more tires worth of uh two more upgrades worth of friction technically you probably would have the best friction in the game you would have like level like a highway tire would have levels of let's say kenworth w990 or uh p16 tire codes essentially so i think that's just kind of i don't know if that's a good thing for snowrunner Yeah, GMC Attachern or something. I don't know. Maybe not that that far of a, a stretch, but I mean, you, you get what I'm, I'm implying. And also, I think uh, another thing about expeditions, I was thinking about this morning is uh, another another thing is like I'm, I'm talking about like things like reviewing trucks, right? And like a lot of important things for reviewing a truck, um, I think for people as a whole is is like engine power, right? Because like in the game of SnowRunner, engine power is it is very much so needed for, for hauling cargo. So the thing is, in expeditions, there is no cargo hauling, especially oh, just what's on your frame. So engine power is really not an issue at all. Maybe when you're doing rescues and such like that, of like bigger trucks, I could see where engine power would come into play, and that's I totally get that. For the most part, you want the weaker, weaker engine because the weaker engine is still going to suffice. I haven't had issues crawling up anything really, and I've crawled up some pretty steep hills in that game. And every 
every truck I've, I've used so far that's on stream that you've seen is the base engine. So you kind of want to go for efficiency because efficiency keeps the mission going. The more powerful engines are less efficient. So it's more or less like use the best tires. Even if you don't have the best tires, you can just deflate them at any point and just, you know, break. I don't want to say break the game, but you uh, it allows you to crawl up things very well. And then, you know, your engines, they suffice. Insert location, my trusty lodestar, yeah. Alright, what am I doing here? Guess just, just continue. I guess I'll pop this trailer maybe there or whatever. Yes, you can deflate your tires in expeditions. It's kind of like the old, the old like uh, spin tires thing where you can kind of do that. So yeah, you, you can. No, nope, I didn't want a detached trailer, noob. Let's pop this radar here. Yeah, that's a feature in in expeditions, and also there's another feature is you can actually let your winch out it's called like the winch push so if you if you watch my review on it i kind of explain these things on the on the game but yeah i think the winch push is another thing i think the winch push is something i would want in snow runner being able to allow my my winch to let out kind of like the cranes do in this game you can do that with a crane so you know why not why not be able to do it with a uh with a regular winch right Okay, that's what I wanted to do. I'm gonna grab Bent Not Broken, and then we'll jump down here and grab Accidents. Do I have accidents happen? I do. I don't I need to grab that at all, actually. So. Do I have Bent Not Broken? I don't. Okay, so then we'll just continue through. Down. I probably pop the radar like here ish. Yeah. Pop radar here, and then we just we roll all the way through here, grab all this stuff. Why can't I see the towers? Wait a second. Wait a second. I think I know. Are these locked behind missions? I think they are. Yep. Ranger is watching. The view above, yeah. These are all locked behind stuff. Oh, I love it. Think I should play Mud Runner next. I do have Mud Runner. Actually, I already have it in my. It's in my game. Max Power. Max Power actually bought me that a while ago. What do I drive? I drive a Volkswagen GLI. I've had that since 2017, actually. I'm high centered. I'm high centered. I'm high centered. On this rock. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's. A, I mean, I think you can look at look at people's reviews on it. Honestly, I think the best person to look at is uh, SD1. 
SD1's channel has riddled with uh, content on that game, so I think that's a better option. It's just to go go check out what he said about Mud Runner. Just sunk in, man. Because here's the thing: is like, yeah, Mud Runner sounds cool, but I mean, I don't. I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy that either. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, how do I say this? I'm not a car enthusiast. I'm not really like a... This is going to sound very odd. I'm not really like a... This is like my first off-roading game. I've always kind of like liked off-roading. But I think I just like the hauling aspect of, of things. That kind of like drew me to SnowRunner, right? But I, I think... Like, I'm not a channel that is, like, dedicated, based, based around, how do I say this, um, like, driving games. Like, I, my background is, like, World of Warcraft. <laughs> like, my World of Warcraft, like, World of Warships type stuff. But I, I really do think you should check out SD1's videos on, on that game. I think it'll give you probably a good... From what I hear, he is absolutely... Um, in love with Mud Runner, as as is other people like Max Power and stuff like that. So, but however, I think if you are going to try to compare like Mud Runner to like the crazy amount of like add-ons and stuff like that that Snow Runner has, you're going to be disappointed. M Mud Runner is a vastly different game. Like it, it's it's just a different a different whole different game. So, I don't know. I think a person like me who doesn't necessarily like care about a bunch of stuff like that, I think I, I can enjoy it for what it is, but I could see a lot of people being like, ah, eh, no, it's trash, or something of that sort. And They are reliable, honestly. I, I, I don't think I would ever buy... Honestly, man, I love... You, you drive a golf? Nice. Dude, they're they're good cars. The crazy thing is, man, I, I actually had a what was it? It was a Volkswagen Jetta TDI, which is a, a turbo diesel. And that car was amazing. The torque that car had was insane. It was just incredible. not a game you play continuously yeah I think it's uh mud runner is a game that you would have to you'd have to try for yourself and then it's not crazy diverse especially with cargo and all that stuff so that's that's thing something you kind of have to understand what's up gamer welcome in And I am surprised people are tuning in today. Oh, yours is a TDI? Yeah, I don't have a TDI now. I have a, G a GLI, which is in the, isn't a turbo diesel now. I actually turned in my, my TDI when the, they, they had that... What was it, it, There was like a lawsuit against, against them for like emissions and stuff like that. And... They offered me more more value than the car was worth. Or they offered to fix the problem and give me like $4,500. So I just decided to take the cash and just buy a new car. So then I, I, I bought the, the GLI and then I just... At the time when I was in the military, I was getting paid pretty well. So because of, of flying and stuff like that. So yeah, I just paid it off within a year and called it good. All right. My car only has like 38,000 miles on it right now. It has a 2017. So it's it still it still feels rather new. It does. It's just because it doesn't have a lot of miles because I, I used to I traveled for a lot of time. So you think about it like you're traveling so much you're not really driving. So Yeah, basically cargo is equals logs. Yeah. 
unless you use like a mod where the logs actually are other types of cargo, I think, is what I've come to understand. It does have a very good re resale value. I actually have, I get emails from the Volkswagen dealership that's uh, in the next town or two towns over. And they're always at, they're always like saying that I can get this much money for it and stuff like that. And yeah, I just, uh, I don't want to give it up. Like there's no reason for me to incur more debt. You see what I'm saying? Like there's no reason for me to sell it and then buy a car and then have another loan, more, more payments. That new trailer DLC for looks awesome. Really? There's a trailer DLC. What's up, porn cat? Welcome in. You heard that emission scandal? What year was my Jetta? I think I had a 2014. Uh, Jetta at the time. Yeah, it was a 2014. Uh, which way am I going here? Yeah, unfortunate. That's hard mode stuff, yeah. <laughs> it's your awkward sense of humor. I had a feeling you were just joking about it. I had a feeling. I was like, there's no way they're putting trailers into that game. I think it would be very stupid if they added trailers into that game. Then you know it's pandering. You really know that it's, it's pandering. <laughs> that game is just not a game you want trailers in. It really isn't. It's not built for it. This this map is beautiful, man. Like, look at the the aurora, like hitting off the the water. But yeah, that circle area, so what hard mode does, man, is uh, hard mode will put a circle. So they'll say, instead of like highlighting where the actual cargo is, they'll put a circle like this and they'll say it's in that circle, find it. So they're kind of not holding your hand like completely how, how normal mode is. They're just kind of telling you, hey, it's in this general vicinity. It's before your time. It does have a very relaxing atmosphere. Honestly, man, I'm, I think I was more, I'm actually was really kind of pleased that my next hard mode was this, was this map or this region. trumpet do your thing man is this gonna jackknife me oh my gosh the controls I'm, I'm still getting used to the, the old the snow runner controls again Understand. Like, I just want to get up onto this like tuft right here. What's up, torpedo? Welcome in. Nope, that ain't working. Do I really have to drop both trailers right now? Yeah, it was enjoyable. I'm stuck on something. I'm high centered on something. I can tell. I can just tell.
This is wild. <laughs> hmm. Crazy, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back the other trailer now. Maybe I can. Yeah. Gotta do the leapfrog thing, I guess. Guess I'll, I'll just go with the go with the flow of the water. I'm guessing. <laughs> Deflate the tires, yeah. Let's roll. I just messed up on my, my pathing, that's all. Uh, that's even better. Get a Golf R32 and about eight Land Rovers through your Land Cruisers. Wow, dude. And a few GTIs. Wow. That is a lot of cars, man. That is a lot of vehicles. I couldn't even imagine owning more than one car right now. <laughs> Am I really stuck? There we go. You know what? It's a pop trailer. I probably need to actually pause and go. How do I say this? Do the missions that pertaining to these towers. And then, like, come back to scouting. Because I know there's a tower mission, like, right here. So what I'll do is, I'll actually bring this, uh... uh shoring up losses. I don't even know if I want to go through there right now. Actually, I do have to. I do have to. Uh, maybe not that way. Maybe I'll... Yeah. We'll go the other way. Come down. But yeah, guys, welcome in. Um, for those who are wanting to see Expeditions, I'm sorry. Uh, I kind of let you down there. I'm not going to be playing Expeditions anymore for the foreseeable future. It just really wasn't my type of game. So, we were going to play a vastly different game than this today, but I, I just decided to, to throw this one in, in here. I don't need to go over there. I'll touch this over here. Do I have shoring up losses, actually? Yeah, I do. Okay, I don't need to do that. All right, so I just need to get back to the road. Yeah, I'll just get back to the road and we'll call it, we'll call it good for now. And then I'll just, uh, what's up, army? Welcome in. 
It should have just been a SnowRunner update, in my opinion. You know, I heard some folks saying it should have been like a, a mini game or like a, a mini DLC to SnowRunner. I think it probably would have been received. Probably would have been received better, to be honest. So, like, if you think about, I can I can tell you this straight up. The Steam reviews have actually decreased. It used to be 58% positive yesterday. It's actually 54% positive on uh, on Steam currently, which is which is really bad. Like a 4% drop of Steam reviews in one day. That's not good. And uh, yeah, I don't know. And it, the, the funny thing is, man, it's so funny. I think the fun, the really funny thing is, is like the pe there's people who just they straight up, they just follow. They they're, they just and anyone who says that, anyone who critiques, um, expeditions, people just attack them or they'll say, oh, they just they're comparing it to Snowrunner. It's not Snowrunner. Expeditions is expeditions and Snowrunner is Snowrunner. But it's like, dude, they're on the same engine. They have the same vehicles. Like there are, it is. It's, it's literally SnowRunner, but it's with it's just scouting. It's SnowRunner, but scouting. It's really what it is. And I can tell you, I can tell you this. Um, I can't say who I, I found out this info from. I can't say anything anything other than I know for a fact that it was rushed out the door. You're finding it really hard to do. Yeah. Victor, that's kind of how I was, man. <laughs> that's kind of how I was. Let's see here. Is it? Oh, no. I think it's not this. It's not this. It's not that. Not movie star. The ranger is watching. That's it right there. I need to do this right now. But hold on. I need to do something before that. It's called the power generator. So that's what we're gonna do right now, actually. So with that being said, if I can find my garage, which I can just use my mouse, but. Be honest. Yeah, I did. I, I, did, exp I did enjoy, the thing is like, I enjoy the scenery of Carpathian. I enjoyed the scenery much better. Um. Yeah, I think the vegetation, how do I say this? The vegetation is another limiting factor of routes you can take, especially with a large scout vehicle. So that's something that I thought was interesting because I was using a collie pug yesterday and the pug was pretty big. So I knew I couldn't squeeze through trees like I normally try to do with a small scout. So it kind of like changes things. I think both maps are, are nice, they're beautiful. I haven't explored them all, um, but yeah. Yo, Jake, welcome in. And it's funny. It's funny that people say that they'll be like, what are you talking about, man? SnowRunner is repetitive. And it's like, dude, SnowRunner has 90 vehicles. You can, I can deliver cargo to a location. What's up district? Welcome in. Uh, they're like, they're like, it's, it's just SnowRunner's just as repetitive. It's like, Dude, SnowRunner, you can use a scout vehicle to, to deliver cargo. You can use different types of trailers. You can use different types of vehicles, different setups. I can go scout in SnowRunner and do exploration with scouts too. But it's thing is like, it's, it's a totally different game that's geared different ways. You see what I'm saying? And it's totally fine if you like expeditions and it's totally fine if you like both. And it's totally fine if you just like SnowRunner as well. So you're going to make it better. Nice, man. Well, hopefully you enjoy it. All right. So guys, I'm really not concerned with fuel or money right now, but I'm going to try and uh, play some fun. Actually, you know what? Here's what I need to do.
here's what we need to do. Here's my here's my reason. I'll show you my reason why. Give me a second here. Uh, do I even is there even a way up here? I think there is actually. Let me see. I think there's actually a I think there's a path that goes through the mountains, if I'm not mistaken. If I can't do that. Oh, I know where I can go. I can just go southbound. That's another thing. I, that's that's another thing, actually, Scorpius. I didn't feel like any there was any accomplishment on anything I was doing. I didn't feel like I was accomplishing any really anything. I didn't feel like I was... Like in SnowRunner, I feel like, okay, so like in this sense, like they're trying to rebuild infrastructure here and then they're also trying to set up for filming, right? Even though like, I feel like that's kind of like a silly thing to do, right? I guess in the, in the span of SnowRunner, but at least I feel like I'm accomplishing something. You're going to try to explore every of each of each. Okay. Oh, nice. But like in SnowRunner, I feel like I'm accomplishing something. Like I, I can understand, but like there's the other, there's the other uh, outlook on, well, you're exploring for like science, which is kind of like the, the whole premise of, of what expeditions is, right? You're you're exploring for scientific purposes, like you know archaeological discoveries, all these other things, right? And it just. That that is cool and all. I really do think it's a it's a cool concept. It's just uh, it's just not necessarily my cup of tea. And I think the people get upset when they when you tell them that they they legitimately get upset. Like, oh, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you say it's not for you? Like, you're supposed to be uh, in line, not having an opinion on this. You you should be making content for this game, or you should be playing this game because it is part of the series. How could you how could you ever <laughs> say anything of a critical nature about any spin tires game? I do remember that, yeah. I do remember that, Rom. I just don't here's the thing is like I guess that would be kinda cool. I just don't know if that's something that they would do. I feel like a lot of people are more or less hungry for like a snow map rather than like a jungle map. Appreciate that district well. I appreciate that man. Thank you. Definitely appreciate that. Emotional support. But yeah, man, it's funny. It's fu it's funny, man. Whenever you whenever you say something different, that's that's how do I say this? That's different from what the crowd says. Um, just be just be aware that you will get some abrasive people that come against you. They are going to do an all snow map. I know that for sure. Yeah, Rom, I did I did say I, I did uh I did see that. About the Amazon map. I just don't know if the player base wants that right now. I think the player base is yearning for an all snow map like like either like an like a kinda like an Alaska a more Tamir no not, I mean not Tamir, but uh Alaska a more um or like an Amandra or I mean like Kola Peninsula type. I think that's what they want. The game is called SnowRunner. That's, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only thing I think people are really, really wanting to see. I think I just go, I might just go up here and then just hit it. Go right, take the old scenic route. I appreciate it, man. I uh, Honestly, I almost played uh, Diablo 2 today. Or like World of Warships, I was really close. I legitimately like like fired up both games and I was thinking I was like which one am I gonna play to get today? It's kinda crazy I just started up this. Acteon feels so much different.
Yeah, it does feel different. Honestly, this is how fast the Acteon goes in the high range gearbox on uh, on expeditions. They should do Mudrunner 3, I agree. I agree. Mudrunner 3 would be great. Go back to, uh, but they need to go back to the roots, in my opinion. They just need to go back to the roots. You know, I talked to Vic a little bit, District, yesterday, and he was telling me how he, he well, he's the only American dev that's on the team, right? And he was telling me how they just have an insane Russian bias. It's unreal. A great compromise is like main, yeah, that's a good compromise. Honestly, this is this is kind of like a compromise too. This map is like half, half and half. This map is a little bit more snow. The next one is not necessarily, but I think it's a. I did enjoy this map. Yo, JR Diesel, thank you for that raid. Welcome in, guys. Appreciate it, man. You're trying to set up a co-op with him? Yeah, I think I asked him a question. So if you guys don't know who, who Vic is, Vic is a he's actually in the only American dev that's on the team for. He's the only um, American de developer that's on the team for Saber. OK, what's up, Diesel? Welcome in, man. Thank you for that. Thank you for that raid. Raiders, welcome in. And uh, I asked him something. I asked him about the how if he thinks that DLCs have impeded the natural progression of SnowRunner. And he said in like capital letters, like, oh yes. So, I mean, yes, he's on the SR project, yes. I think he's been on the SR project since the spin, t since, since spin tires, is what he told me actually. The way they made the terrain hard in season one was just adding stupidly deep snow. Yeah, I think I think the the better move is t is just to make smaller passes that the bigger super trucks can't go through, and then people are forced to use smaller trucks, make those areas kind of tippy, so where people have to like look at their their balance or wheel placement, vehicle position. I think it's a better move to make to like a simulated difficulty, right? No, not Victor Horn, no. No, I'm not talking about Victor. What would natural progression be without a DLC? So the natural progression... So I mean like this. Let's let's do this. I'm going to show you... I'm going to show you what, what impedes... I'm, I'm going to say this. The natural progression of the game diminishes with DLCs being added... To the game bought and or um standalone and, and not standalone Here, here's why i'm gonna show you this is a brand new this is a brand new game okay i'm gonna show you why it, it just straight up diminishes the natural progression which this game if you if you buy this game alone with no dlcs at all you don't have all these in your garage look at this here's the highlight of them all there you go. Look at the cash I have. I can go sell any of these and just have an, a basically infinite money, okay? Which used to be you had to go get a mod to get money. And then also, like, you have all these DLC trucks. Now, granted, a lot of these, I think this is a good thing about these DLC trucks here, is that a lot of their, le their unlocks are with the driver levels like the anniversary DLCs like this truck here and this truck here these all-wheel drives are they're locked behind like level 13 to 15 driver level so like in this case not necessarily a pay to win I don't think these are pay to win at all I don't think anybody's ever ever said these two vehicles are pay to win this is the this is the way they should have went is there should have been a driver unlock associated with some of these um, 
I mean, even getting the Karis Bandit. I mean, you're talking, like, look at these trucks you're getting. This ruins the natural progression of the game. And then also the year three trucks, he essentially said that basically what Saber did was they, they made it so like you naturally progressed from like Michigan to Alaska. And then like in Tamir, they just started introducing just these overpowered Russian trucks. And then after that, it just kept, it just kept snowballing pretty much. I would say year three was when it got really out of hand. I think the game was in a, in a decent balance, in my opinion, up to like year two. But the thing is, if people even buy any of the year passes, a lot of these vehicles in the year pass come along with it. Or if you just buy a, a DLC, period. I mean, some people will go look in the store and they're like, oh, I can buy this truck. I'll, I guess I'll buy it. Or if they buy a year a year pass and they're just like they see that truck that's in the year pass, they go to a, someone's channel and say, "How do I get this truck ASAP?" And then they just go get it with a Mastodon. <laughs> I literally saw somebody saying like, "I feel bad. I've been using the Mastodon. I'm a new player, and I, I've been crushing Michigan." And everyone's like, "Okay." <laughs> I mean, if you look at the year three trucks, period. And this is the, this is literally the, I don't want to say it's a hill I'll die on, but, uh, in my opinion, I think the natural progression of snow is kind of gone. The only way you could actually have a natural progression is to essentially limit yourself. It's kind of like what I've been doing pretty much on all my playthroughs. And the funny thing is people will say to me, well, it's, it's, this is always the, the comment. This is always the, probably the most. The most used comment is, or I would say the most used reply to that is, well, you don't have to use those trucks. And, and my reply back is how much longer do I have to use the other trucks in the game that I've been using for hundreds of hours to avoid using these new amazing trucks that just crushed the game. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like after, I mean, you're going to see me use like the step 310 echo the cat, um, you know, some of these other trucks. But the thing is like, you guys can look back through all my playthroughs and you can see how much I'm using them just to stay away from, you know, using like the Kenworth or the, the Mastodon and stuff like that. But it's like, I, I would like a truck, a new, a new truck. That's not crazy unbalanced. And I think for a, even a developer to say so, it kind of like, it proves my point. Yeah, I don't want to say I'm, I'm worried about people ruining their own, own fun. I think like if I was if I was a game creator and I wanted this game to have some type of natural progression and I, I intended the game to be hard, which the game is intended to be difficult, because if it wasn't difficult, no one would play it. It wouldn't feel uh, that you'd have any type of accomplishment, right? I would literally come out and say before I release this, I would say this is a hard game It is going to be hard. You are going to get little breadcrumbs to help you spur yourself along, but it is not going to hold your hand. And if people don't like to play it, they don't play it. But I feel like to get cash because Saber is not in a good place because I believe Embracer, who is the, the, the company that owns Saber, they're actually in debt and they're selling off Saber right now. Okay. So. You gotta understand like Saber's forced to try to basically to push money or to get money. So I think the Jat tire should have the same rank locks. Yes, I think so too. But yeah, that's my just my that's just my simple my simple outlook, guys. Don't don't take it too too harshly. Does this go? see here yeah it does okay cool yeah I probably should have used this in the first place back down 
Bring that there into there. Okay, cool. Let's go. Honestly, another thing I love about this DLC, I'm gonna be real. Uh, one, it's beautiful. The elevation is great. But can we just talk about the crafting on this? The crafting hardly costs any fuel at all. Like, I don't even think I I even used hardly any... How do I say this? I probably didn't use any fuel out of this tanker that I'm currently having on this generator right here. Directional, thank you. How OP is the 6128? Six, uh, I couldn't tell you that. I know that uh, District probably tell you. The Land Rover? Yeah, I mean, the Land Rover is... I don't, I don't think any, any of the Scout DLCs are really overpowered, except for, like, Burlak, but... The smaller Scouts, no. Not really. Man, I'm sorry, guys. My... I'm still, like, weird with these controls here. I mean, expeditions mess me up with these controls. This is such a small truck, it's so hard to haul this thing. But I'm also... Why can't I grab that? What? Are, are you being serious right now? I can't grab anything? Are you serious? Oh, because I'm attached, dummy. No, I'm not. Are, are, you, are you being serious right now? I have all these in range. Give me a second. What is, what is going on with this? This is such an exploit. Winching a trailer is, is so much more such a such a such a less burden no no I don't think so I think the crafting I think it's lovely I think it's lovely that it doesn't consume on this DLC crafting is is quite is quite uh, easy I'm gonna say and actually enjoyable because you're not consuming crazy amounts of fuel just to just to craft like pretty much like my my one trailer here in this this vehicle here is basically all I needed for the whole crafting part of this this whole region. My goodness, this is taking forever. There we go. Give me on something I can grab onto. There we go. This is actually Scandinavia diesel. This is actually season 11. Yeah, we've, we've completed main and Yukon on hard mode already. In order. Oh, dude. This truck is just going to struggle here. I might just do the exploit. It's 
so funny, man. You haven't been much on season 11? It's a good season. And here is why hitch trailers <laughs> are not as good as semis. Just dead weight. Oh, the scenery is great. Scenery is great. The uh, the music is great. The elevation, man, from season 10 and season 11, it, it feels great. I mean, like whenever I go up into the mountains, pulling that cargo up there, it, it, it feels great. I'm kind of interested in how I'm going to have to plan with all this stuff here. You grab the burlac and then dipped out. this stuff now we good good to go no to be honest I think I'm gonna sell the burlac when I get it I don't really need it at all all right the controls Let's go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. The burlac. You guys are going to not get me going on this subject. It is not going to happen. Yo, what's up, Doc Jones? This is Scandinavia. The fuel consumption of the CK engines. Yeah, I, I do think they're a little bit much, to be honest. There's no horn in expeditions? Yeah. Weird, right? Oh, I think there's a horn. It's just on a keyboard. I think you. Can, I'm not sure. I don't, honestly. What's the? But the thing in, in in expeditions, like, what's the reason to even honk? I can't destroy any of those with horns. But yeah, I know. I know what you mean, though. <laughs> I know what you mean. For the birds, that's right. Yeah, the crazy thing about expeditions, though, is like, I don't know if you guys guys see that on stream. Like, I. I I literally like use the drone to go over this huge and to see the uh, this huge eagle that was just hanging out in this tree and it was actually like live like it was like moving its head around and stuff it was kind of crazy the Hummer is notorious for lacking power wait what wait hold on Wait, the, the Hummers, it's re you mean like real life? It's notorious for having lack of power? Oh, real life. I don't know about real life. I, I, I can't speak to that. In game, it's actually super powerful. It's engines are super, pretty powerful. You wonder how multiplayer is going to work in expeditions? I have no clue. Honestly, I have no clue. Okay, nice. We have a generator. So here we go. Here's my gen generator truck and fuel for the duration of this map, essentially. 
So that's that. And now I start pulling cargo. So open up some of these, uh, the rest of these watchtowers, essentially. Do I want to use the step? I'm wondering what I want to use here. Trans star? No, we're not going to use the trans star. Step three ten echo on season twelve. What a wizard of a truck! Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Not movie star. Rangers watching. Start tracking. Wooden planks, metal rolls. Uh, I need to do this bridge. This is called bridge issues. Metal, be metal beams, concrete blocks. I think concrete blocks are actually over there. Yeah, I think concrete blocks are over here at this. But I think here is the issue. Not lost trailers, not that. I think it's this warehouse right here. I think I need to do this. Get this service trailer. Yeah, this service trailer right here needs to go. Then I also need the metal beams and rolls. Yeah. We're going to do this right now. Actually, I'm going to go back into the garage to re-outfit this thing. Yeah, I, that's a, that's that was a complaint by a lot of people actually. Horncat, they were saying that the uh, there was no, it didn't feel like Scandinavia. But to be quite honest, man, I could say the same thing about probably a lot of maps on the United States side. Or I know there's probably a lot of people that could say the same thing about Canada. But I mean, I think they just made it what it is. And we haven't had any troll sightings. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, I think you're definitely right. It doesn't... In that aspect, it probably doesn't feel like Scandinavia. But I think I think it definitely... It is a very beautiful map. Prettiest map, including the base game? Man, I don't know. Kola Peninsula is pretty nice. Amandra is pretty nice. Even Amor is beautiful. I like Alaska a lot. Honestly, like a lot of the... A lot of the um, snow maps are just gorgeous. I'm, I'm probably going to say British Columbia is another one I like. That's not snow. This one is a good one, too. Honestly, man, I like I do like a lot of them. I do. I like I really do. It's hard to really pin. So. So customize. I need to put this on. Actually, isn't there a warehouse in town here? I think there's a warehouse in town. There's only one concrete block.
Yeah, there's only one concrete block there. How many do I need? Let's see. Uh, bridge issues. I need one. Okay, that's fine. All right, cool. This is good news. Let me actually track this. All right, let's do this. I, th I think one's all I need, so we'll just craft, deliver, deliver, and then go grab that beam. But then I'm have to like. This is gonna be odd. Actually, never mind. I don't know. I think we are getting a full snow map in year four. I'm honestly, I'm going to say this. I think it's going to be the finale. I really think it's going to be the finale. I, I, I don't know. I'm hoping two of them. I know Issa Roken said they are going to be harder. The maps are going to be harder than previous some some of the previous maps. I think what he me he's meaning is like the year three maps, which haven't been too hard. But also, like you got to think about the machinery at hand. And there we go. Is that 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 topic again, right? One, two. I don't know if they're working. I don't think, honestly, I don't think they're working on a new game right now. They have their hands full too much with year four and, uh, I'm wondering if I should just run down the road real quick and grab this thing before I even. Did I ask Vic about that? No, I haven't. I haven't asked him about that. I don't know how much he can tell. Yeah, the reviews on Steam are pretty harsh, District. They actually dropped 4%. So yesterday, the Steam reviews on Expeditions were 58%. Um, 58% um, positive. Now they're at 54% positive. So they're kind of trending very low. So Victor said, I'm going to try to read this. Try not to tip over to at the same time. We only have three full snow regions. Yes, that's true. One of the trucks to be the fawn. I think I, I saw this too. Let me just read this comment because I think I've seen this. Yeah, this is a post. I think I've seen this post. <laughs> Yeah, half snow is Yukon, Maine, Scandinavia. One of the trucks will be based on the Fawn truck. I'm not even sure what the Fawn truck is. It's probably a super truck. Let's be let's be real. Um, no AFM. Yeah, you're, they're not. The scouts are not coming over from expeditions. By the way, no trucks are coming over from expeditions. They're gonna stay. All future scouts are gonna be expeditions. That is great. Finally, they did that. <laughs> And the Azov Adam comes out at the end of March in April, yeah. Which, yeah, with the Azov Adam, that's a whole other, whole other thing. And that year four is quite challenging. So what Isarokin said, I think, he said it's going to be more challenging. I have the snippet. I have the snippet. Actually, I can show you the snippet of it. Here's what he said. <clears throat> it should be harder than a couple of previous DLCs. That is what he said. So the only other question is what DLCs? As of it, the, the Atom is going to be pretty much OP. Yeah. Even though they said it's not going to like break records with the uh, with like power and stuff like that. It's just going to it's basically I don't 
understand why we need another another Azov truck, 8x8. Eight eight. That's just my my opinion. You have a 6413107 and a and a 5319. It literally satisfy pretty much all your needs in that whole category of 8x8, eight 10x10. Eight, ten ten. Um, slow, efficient, trailblazer, armored, inefficient, stable, versatile trucks, right? So no, ESO said that it's it's harder. It takes more. It takes more. It would take more effort to make trucks from expeditions come over to Snowrunner rather than just making them alone. Uh, is this a task? No, I already got that one. Okay. It's gonna be harder than season one, two, three, four. It's gonna be interesting. I don't think it's going to be harder than season one, two, three, four. Dude, a lot of, that's the crazy thing is, I think what a lot of folks don't understand is a lot of people really don't like a lot of the seasons in the first year. Like, the, the, I mean, that's true. That's, that's just straight up true. He responded, time will tell. Yeah, I mean, time will t tell is not necessarily saying anything that's definite. I think it's very stupid if they do that. I think it's very dumb to to keep adding scouts to a hauling a hauling game that's basically more when you just brought out a game that's to solely dedicate to scouting and then you bring vehicles that are from that game over here or scouting. Like it's kind of I don't see the point of that. The saber anything is possible. You're probably right. Yeah. We have honestly we have 90 game we have 90 vehicles right now in SnowRunner like we have 90 Like I don't think we don't need any more scouts to be honest. I don't think we need any more heavy trucks. You know what? I'm going to I need to grab this. We don't need any more heavy trucks. I think we need more like heavy duty trucks. I think we need more maybe a couple more off-road trucks. No, they don't. But the thing is, they don't ask. That's the thing, district. They don't ask. They won't ask anybody for for opinions. They'll they just uh, work. And that's the thing. That's the issue at hand, man. Is is they don't really ask anybody for for good opinions, and then they produce a game, and then you know, and that's why it's getting fifty four percent positive only on uh on Steam after week one release which is trending 4% down right now from a one day outlook. Yo, Lindell, thank you for that follow, welcome in. Yeah, no, no, he's, that's right. That's right, I, I agree. Like, why don't you listen to your, honestly, like, I, I like, it's like I said, man, I would, I would offer up my time to, to help them or, or me. I, I don't know. Like I think talking to people who actually cover this game in detail and asking them, what is the general overall, like how does the community overall feel about the current product at hand is a wonderful thing to do. And none of that has been done. They solely are going by their sales and the thing, but also like sales, sales numbers do talk. Let's be real. But I mean, like even me, like I bought Expeditions, I played it for 20 plus hours and here I am back again, right? On SnowRunner. I like this little shortcut. This is nice. I could have just taken this. Oh, thank you for that. Look at that, man. That's great. Guess I'm going to use that repair, <laughs> repair vehicle or that repair trailer up here. I mean, right now, man, it's it's a uh, it's a money game. Embracer basically is is going bankrupt, and Saber is getting sold. So, thank you for an amazing videos on YouTube. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. As a newcomer, it's like me. 
It's very useful. I agree that some DLCs feel like a cheat in early game. Appreciate that, Lindell. I'm glad you sh you share the same sentiment, my man. I appreciate that. Welcome in, by the way. Good to have you. Yeah, honestly, that's that's great, man. I think that's awesome. Is actually interacting. Interacting with, with the people you're selling the game to. I really do think, and it's not that I, I want my, my in on like what I say that Saber should do. It's not that at all. It's it's that while my community is very small, like SD1's community and are pretty much, he's getting a lot of the same, same comments. So I, I think, you know, talking with, with, with people who see those comments on a daily basis, I think it's a good thing. How would I feel if heavy crane, heavy trucks had no small, small, small cranes? I think it would be great. I think it would be great. I think, um, but then again, I think some should, I don't think the, I don't think any of the, how do I say this? I don't think any of the year three trucks should. Like, I would probably leave... Uh, I'd probably leave some heavy trucks with them. Um, like the 73210. If you're not going to reclass some of the smaller ones, I would say leave them. But there, there's probably... Maybe six or seven I would chopping block. Kenny wouldn't have one, man. Honestly, the community is so willing to help them and to give them feedback. It's just, they don't want it, man. And like from, I haven't asked, I haven't asked Vic, who is the only American developer on the Saber team. I haven't asked him like if they take feedback, but from, from the tone that, that he's kind of giving me from just a simple conversation with him about how he feels with like Russian bias, you can tell that. I would, I guess like from that, I would probably infer that they're just doing what they want and producing what they want based upon sales. So if sales are good, that's the thing, man, you're going to, that's what you're going to get. So here's the only thing, the only thing, the only way for you to make a statement to Saber is to one, put a steam review out or a review on whatever platform you brought, you bought the game giving your honest thoughts. You don't have to be malicious. And then you just don't buy the game. For me, I, I support them. I, I want them to make another Mud Runner or Snow Runner game. So I, I genuinely support them. Am I happy with Expeditions? Not really, but I'm not going to bash them. I think they tried. What's up, bad bud? Welcome in. Okay, let's go like this. Switch trucks. Oh, this is already on. Okay, so I need to open up this, uh, not business before pleasure. What is this? What is it called? Warehouse repairs this. I'm going to repair myself as well. So two metal rolls, one metal beam. Gotcha. Hmm. What? Uh, now let's go here. Yeah, the thing is we, we yeah, we kind of are, are vested in it, yeah. So what do you what do you said he said to you is the upper management runs it and develops disagreement with stuff that they are doing, but I don't get why the developers don't step up and do something about it. It's because their job is on the line. <laughs> That's probably why. They're probably afraid of losing their jobs. 
if you rock the boat too much, man, like it's yeah. I definitely think the, the here's the thing, man, is like give a genuine review on how you feel, whether it's good or bad. If it's good, give a good review. If it's bad, give a bad review. But the thing is, like, be genuine, be polite, and be concise with what you're gonna say. And that's all you have to do. I gave my first review of a game on Steam for Expeditions. That was the first time I've, I've ever actually voiced my opinion on, on, on Steam. Lunacy, welcome in. Thank you for that follow. You have you won't have any clue why they wouldn't challenge them. People write their checks, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be real. I, I think I'm definitely. I would be okay with rocking the boat. I have rocked the boat. But like, I think it's it, there's a way to convey a message. I think, but the thing is, I don't know. I think what I what I said, what I mentioned about actually reaching out to people that have followings that, that cover this game in detail, and asking them how they can make the game better, based upon thoughts from the community. I really think you would get a ton of feedback. Probably should have hooked up to that last one, actually. I don't know if I'm actually contacting it. There's something else behind this. Yeah, I know he can't tell everything. There's always something behind it. Yeah. Oh, well, there have been a lot of layoffs. I didn't know that. I didn't know there was a lot of layoffs. I, well, actually, I heard. I heard there have been layoffs. I heard they're actually not even producing the Jurassic Park Survivor game anymore. Yeah, there's only one. His name is Vic. Yeah, there's only one. One on on the team. I need to repair myself here, and I can't hook up because this this truck can't do it. So I need to get another truck out of the garage to to do this. So it'll be our low saddle truck. I guess, I guess I'll pick a low saddle truck here. Surprise, surprise. Who is it going to be? My dude. But also they lost Pavel as well so that's that that's a I think Pavel had a lot of passion for this there we go now I detach because I'm actually going to use the white western start to winch it over there what is awful the step you think the steps awful really Vic <laughs> Upper manager will, will ignore community feedback as long as they're selling DLCs. Yeah, I got. Yeah, Eric, you're probably right. I think it's it's a money game, man. If you're making money, and uh, that's not, and that's the thing, man. I, I think here, here's what a a person said to me about Saber, and I'm not going to say I agree with what he said, like the verbiage of it, but he essentially said Saber needs to be stopped, <clears throat> and I don't agree. Saber needs to be stopped. Um, but I think what he was saying is like, they, they need to be, someone needs to get through to them that they, they could make a product that could just blow us all away. That, I, that, that is a better way of saying, I think what, what he was trying, the message he was trying to convey. An Antarctica map? That'd be pretty cool. On expeditions? Yeah, so... How do I say this? I... I honestly thought... To be honest, man, I didn't think the step was that bad. 
but like I, I want to hear your opinion though like just because I, I don't think it was that bad I want to I want to hear your honest opinion about it so like let me I'm not saying you're wrong I just want to know like genuinely because I just I value your opinion so tell me about it Vic what do you think suspension seems broken with the seismic oh I never used the seismic on it maybe that's why Maybe it's too heavy for it. So it was like the suspension kind of collapsing on it or something. <clears throat> could be the seismic might be just too heavy, actually, which could be the overall issue. You know, it could be the it could be the um, the rear mass scale or the, the wheel mass scale, which I think has been changed in some way so i don't know if double tires give a, a times two rear mass scale as they do in snow runner so i don't know it gets stuck and pushes into the ground wow see i've never used the seismic with uh with the step i pulled the I pulled the Collie Pug back pretty easily. Base engine, I literally was like slamming it in high range. You can go, if you look at my review for for Expeditions, I, I legitimately was using the step to pull the Collie Pug and I, I honestly it was very easy for me. It was kind of odd. I was able to slam it in high range and get up a, a hill, a pretty steep grade, probably a 45. I was kind of really surprised about that, but that's kind of kind of crazy you guys saw that. Remove the rear bumper. I heard the rear bumper is like super low. Wait, maybe I've used the seismic. Maybe I did at one point. I don't know. I would have. I need to look at like. The, scale, the rear mass scales or the scale, the, the wheel scales, I guess. I think they're different. But yeah, guys, I don't think I don't think the tire deflation system is, is good for SR. I really don't. I kind of talked about this earlier. If anybody wants me to like go over that again, I can kind of talk about it. I don't think it's a good a good thing to add to SnowRunner. It essentially would make like all these all these DLCs for tires and like just overall tire sets kind of I don't want to say useless but not as useful when you can legitimately like deflate your tires and and gain what is it like a 3.0 3 to a 3.5 off-road performance. You know, multiplying in other ways too for rock and, and mud and stuff like that. It just, I think it would, you would essentially have lesser tires performing as good as like tires that have really good coats. I think it would add more glitches too, yeah. I do think highway tires should grip very well on highway surface even at high speed i would love to see that but i don't know i feel like you get going at a certain speed you still slip i didn't notice much with the bumper collision and stuff like that i haven't looked at a lot of collision mesh the only one i lo really looked at was the uh look at the service trailer okay management boom 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 that's done call it good baby all right um i need a fuel trailer over here a fuel truck at this fuel station but 
We will wait for that for a second. The ranger is watching. Okay, so wooden planks, metal rolls. I can just do this with this truck, actually. So, it's fine. I'll go back to the garage. But yeah, I can kind of explain what I'm talking about with the uh, with the tires and stuff like that. Um, let me pull it up again. So if you look at tire inflation, so here's reduced. Okay, this is reduced. This is low. I believe this is probably still. I think he's doing still testing and stuff like that. So I don't know if this is a finished product. But essentially, rock fr friction modifier is two. Off-road friction is 3.5 multipliers, right? And then here's the, here's the huge one, right? That everyone wants to know is like the mud friction. So even if you have a highway tire, okay, let's say you start out level one snow runner and all you, literally all you have to do then to just smash the game with highway tires is just sit in low plus diffs on turn on low and then you're just good even if you can throw it in high gear throw your test on reduced you won't take any tire damage because i mean well according to expeditions it might be different for snow runner but just because the, the the gear boxes are a little bit faster but yeah you would you would just crush the game your your highway tires would just run through mud with multipliers like this. So I don't know. Oh, why did I go this way? How about slipping highway tires? Hauling heavy load uphill? Tires just spin unless they're on all wheel drive? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, man, honestly. Are we talking about being on a road? Yeah, paved road, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure, honestly. So many fuel trucks that I have to get out. <clears throat> it's kind of unreal. What? There's a what? Are you kidding me? Give me a give me a break here. Hold on a second. I forgot about this. If this is a free one, I forgot all about this. I think it is. No, it's not. That trailer, that trailer's, unless it's not saying it's free, but it's free. Let me see if I can delete it. Actually, here's a good, here's a good uh, indicator. I think you cannot delete. Yeah, you can't. Okay, cool. That's a mission trailer. It's good to know. I probably should just use that instead of buying one, but it's fine. I don't really need money anyways. the wrong way. I didn't do any of these blockages, to be honest, actually. Two wooden planks. I think this, this one's two wooden planks too, actually. I need to do wooden planks as well. I 
I'm gonna have to do this in so, at some in some form. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this in some way. Do I recommend Scandinavia as a map to buy? I think so, yeah. It's fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. But I mean also like what is, what is a fun map for you? Is is kind of I guess my my question for you to better answer your questions, what is a what do you consider a, a fun map? I think if you liked British Columbia, you'll like this map. I think most people do like British Columbia. Maybe a fun map for him is NAI. Could be. I mean... Chicago? <laughs> Chicago? British Columbia and Ontario? Okay, so you liked... Okay, so you liked the year three maps. Yeah, I think if you liked Ontario, you liked... Uh... No, Chicago wasn't a map. Um... Yeah, if you liked British Columbia and Ontario, I think you'll you'll enjoy this. Best four by four scout. Oh my goodness, the best 4x4 scout. Lodestar. Lodestar F750. I would probably say F750 first, and then I'm going to say Lodestar. Yeah, th those are the two I'm going to say. Matt, you say year three, two, and one. Okay, um, I need to do something. I need to get out. I gotta get some scout. I mean, not some support trucks out. So this is gonna have to happen here. Support trucks on the way. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. like it. I didn't fill up the Kenworth? What in the world? Lodestar helped you get the Tuz 420 in it in its stock? Yeah. Lodestar is incredible. In, it, in its upgraded form, it's insane. It's insane. You weren't a, a big fan of Grand Harvest? I'm not. I wasn't either. I think I will never play Grand Harvest again. <laughs> Unless there's some type of uh, crazy event that happens. There would have to be some type of crazy event to happen for me to get that one. Wood framing? I think no. You know what? It's semi it's semi time. What am I doing here? Yep, semi time. Uh I believe this is four planks. I need six planks. Six planks. Six wooden planks. And then I need maybe I'll do the do that later. Maybe I just go grab the, the rolls and the planks there. Yeah, maybe I just get this watchtower open. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Mm 
Yeah, the big fuel tank is, is my jam. <clears throat> That's pretty much how I'm going to use it from here on out. It might get refinished. Actually, no. Season 12, I probably won't, won't use it too much other than a tanker. But I think in Season 12... Man, it's going to be tough. Season 12 is actually going to be tough for me. Uh, hard mode. I, I still... My issue is, is Pine Line Bay. Is... Yeah, that's going to be my my issue. Is, is going to be Pine Line. I feel like I, I broke out. I broke out Pine Line Bay too quick. What's fast? This truck? This is the Step 310 Echo. My boy. This is actually a, an off-road gearbox too, so it's actually a slower gearbox. Um, yeah, we're good. We're still, still in progress. Oh, I need metal beams. Okay. Okay, cool, let's go. Why doesn't the 5600 5, not have a, a big water cistern? It's a good... That is a good question, Derek, and I don't have an answer for you. Don't have a I don't have an answer for you, my man. That's a good question now. Oh man, I beat up this area so bad. It's all right though. I'm not sure, actually, Willie's. That's a good, uh... Maybe it was a shot. Maybe it was. Honestly, I felt I felt it kind of was. It's like Farm Sim 22 just came out, right? Maybe they wanted to, like, jump into that... That space to... Perhaps get some people from Farm Sim to come over to SnowRunner and then maybe spark their interest? Who knows? I would love to have a six slot, six slot semi trailer. It would be great. Okay, I don't think that one gives that stuff, but oh, they actually go away now. They fixed it. That's good news. These used to just stay. Wait, here, here's the test. I think it's on the map. Yeah, it stays. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. <laughs> they didn't fix that. No, they don't go away on the map. They're still there. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, they're still there. You'd love to see a four slot semi. That'd be kind of cool.
Oh, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, there's a mod, mod for each six slot. It's, uh, what's it called? I think I've only used Olsums or Pogrims for that stuff. Uh, okay. Here. You know, I probably should have done, uh, would have made so much more sense is actually collect another set of wood framings actually you know what i don't need to go that way that's not blocked yeah it's funny enough this is my first game in an off-road simulator genre i'm a fan of fps yeah mmo honestly lindell i'm i'm from like world of warcraft world of warships and in 2020 uh, yeah i kind of shifted over this way so i'm 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 kind of with you there this is my first off-road sim snowrunner was actually if you use a trailer mod are you considered i, I don't know i've been called that scorpy just because i used i used a trailer mod at one time Oh, this is a recent one. He matches vanilla trailers. That's, that's kind of cool. I don't think using a trailer mod is, is cheating. You're not... You're just pulling more cargo. Yeah, there is. I agree. I agree. It's a very chill game. The thing is, SnowRunner... And expeditions, they're very chill games until they're not. It's like everything is chill until that, that one moment where things just go crazily wrong. And then it becomes the most frustrating game ever. Yeah, I think I think whenever I used modded trailers for the the randomizer, I had people tell me I was cheating, and I kind of just laughed about it. It's kind of funny. Here's the thing, man. Taking more cargo, I guess you could consider it an exploit, but you're also hauling more cargo you're making it harder on your truck because you're taking more slots i don't know the upsides definitely da outweigh the downsides in that regard but it's far less than using a modded truck let's be real until you tip over 10 meters from the destination point or run out of gas 10 meters Yeah, that's true. Until all your truck is just stuck. It's true. When you pack another loaded trailer on top of your loaded trailer. <laughs> or you pack... <laughs> Or you pack a scout trailer on top of a step deck. That's me too. That is me. Kind of, yeah. Kind of, I think I think so. There's there's some some missions I feel like they're setting you up pretty good.
The long, angry honk? Yeah, that'd be cool. If you could just, like, hold it in, right? Hold in the honk button. Resource management? Oh, that's a good, good point, Doc. This is Diablo 2. <laughs> Dave, I almost did, man. I fired up three games this morning. It took me an hour. That's why I wasn't on stream for an hour. It took me an hour to figure out if I was going to play Diablo 2, this, or World of Warships. I just decided to throw this in. I don't know. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I need to figure out like a character. I need to figure out a character I want to make. What I mean, honestly, what I could do is I could actually start a different. St I could play. I could play it today. I could finish up here and then start start a playthrough. I almost wanted to create like either like a hard mode or a hardcore player on on D two. I was going to make something crazy, do something like where I can't attack anything, but I just have to support my, my mercenary. I think that'd be kind of cool. Like I, I am the support role. I'm not the, like the main attacker. It, I don't know. That'd be kind of bored. I don't know if people would find that boring, but I thought that'd be kind of cool. You get the feeling Dave's calling me out on false advertising. I have it installed, yeah. I have it installed, yeah. Ah, uh, my fellow support main, yeah. In in like World of Warcraft, I always played a healer. Well, I didn't always play. But when I started like doing like semi competitive PvP, I was a healer. Guys, we got ourselves a tower. I have to look at this again. Sorry, guys. I just, it's, it's daytime. It's raining. I don't know why it's raining. It's supposed to be snowing. Have you sent this SR study form already? Wait. What do you mean? Got to play the hardcore mode. Have I tried Final Fi Final Fantasy Nine? Is it nine? No, that's not nine. That's four. Wait, that's X fourteen. Sixteen. What? You play hard mode just for the challenge? Honestly, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna play like it's a mode where I maybe I'll play hardcore. And basically, I am just a support role. Well, maybe not just only, but mainly it'll be my mercenary. So my mercenary will be like the main, the main dude. And I'm like the support. Is, does that sound cool or no? Does that, that sound bad? Terrible? Thoughts? Hey, where's this tower at? I know there's another tower I have to do. A taste of Tinseltown. Nope, that's not it. The view above. Short logs. Consumables. Oh, gosh. Hold on a second. Okay, we gotta get ourselves back down. And then I'll look at this stuff. Oh. Wait, no. It's not faster this way. Or I might try to just jump down through here. Let's go that way. Infection free zone. Oh man, that sounds crazy. You heal a buff like to mitigate your boys. Yeah, I, I, honestly, man, like I've always felt good playing a support role.
maybe what we'll do is after I do this tower, maybe we could do that. Maybe I'll, I'll stop the stream, fire up the stream again, turn on like D2, and we'll start a playthrough. All right, District, see you later, man. Appreciate you stopping in. God bless you as well, my friend. Uh, you know what? Send it. Dude, just like we knew what we were doing, right? Except, except this, I need to get over. Guardrail, I can't run into the guardrail. some support in hill. <laughs> What's HLL? All I know is guys is when when Manor Lords comes out, you guys will see me playing that a lot. Hell let loose. I never heard of that. I love strategy games, like, I don't know, there's something about it. I was a huge fan of like Age of Empires, Stronghold. I still have like Stronghold 3, which actually is a pretty good strategy game. I know it got a lot of mixed reviews, but try Homeworld, I'll have to look that up too. Three consumables. I don't even know what this is going to entail. But I need to stop here, though, because I don't know what consumables. You love Homeworld? Best RTS for you was StarCraft 1 and 2. I think I played StarCraft at some point. Wait, what am I doing here? They, oh, nice. They're just craftable. Dude, that is awesome. That is awesome. And another game I, w I was gonna I was gonna play actually it was uh, Hardcore WoW, WoW Cla WoW World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore, where you die it's over essentially like like D two, but I, I promised my wife I wouldn't. <laughs> I promised her that. Wait, you know what? Why am I keep, why I keep going around this thing? I just don't need to worry about it. Just send it. There's no reason. You were Zerg? Oh man. I think I remember playing Zerg. I played the game briefly. That was so far back in the day though. You know what? I didn't even get gas. Huh. <laughs> what a dummy.
swarm style rush, yeah. Alright, cool, let's go. I know there's a fuel trailer like up on the mountain somewhere, but I'm not really too concerned with it right now. Uh, is this the way? I think this is the way. I think it's here. And then it's up to the tower. Honestly, man, we can we can try it, guys. We can. I'll uh, I'll throw in some some D two here. We can. What I'll do is so I don't have to actually like edit or actually like put this stream because this stream vod. Um. Because if, if I just keep the stream going and then I switch games, I would have to cut. I'd literally like put this in like Adobe Premiere and then cut it and then like re-render re it. And I don't want to do that. So I think like ending the stream and then just restarting it real quick is probably the move. So I probably can do a little bit of D2. I probably can't do too much though. To be a good Zerg player is very demanding. Oh, I bet. Yeah, I think I'll fire it up after this tower. I gotta think about what character I'm gonna make. It's crazy. I do. I have a. I have a pretty amazing character on that game right now. I will show you guys when we log in before I actually create a character and start a new playthrough. Am I going? Oh, I'm way up there. Okay. Subcom? I don't know what subcom is. goodness guys i'm back i'm back to the free cam oh my goodness this is insane what a mode Yo, what's up, Oni? Welcome in, man. You got up early enough to catch a stream? Appreciate that, man. Good to see you. Uh, dude, 
Did I miss the did I miss the run? I think I missed it. I think I missed it. I think I missed the push. Or maybe I think there's I think I can go left here though. Let me see. I did miss it. Oh my goodness. I missed it. All right, uh, shortcut time. Let's look. Let's go, shortcut time. Hopefully I can crawl over some rocks and not get uh, high centered. Ooh. I'd love to have the the deflation system that I mentioned that would be broken. Let's go get me onto that snow. We're good to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just killing fuel right now. All right, let's see here. I need to get. I need to get over. Ah, I kind of want to. Yikes! I wonder if I should just. I need to get just to this path. That's what I need to do. So that's all I really need to do. <gasps> oh my goodness. My engine's still alive. Turn the wheel. This is the worst. Turn the wheel. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, no. Maybe we not do this. We did it! 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 Oh, no. <laughs> this is craziness. Okay, hold on. I didn't do something here. Alright, we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. Good to go. Why are you the way that you are? Every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. <laughs> it's a good day to be back to SnowRunner, guys. It's a good day. Stupid. Yo, you don't even know what stupid is. <laughs> it's about to get all stupid up in here. Every day. <laughs> Every day. It's good to be back. You got, don't you guys miss this stuff, man? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, that was great. That was great. Uh, yeah. But it's okay, they're not packed, but it's alright. <clears throat> so we're not, we're not upset that I quit expeditions? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, cool. Oh! Don't you do it. Angles, angles, angles. No. <laughs> oh, man. Didn't have it. What's going on is I miss my turn. And uh yeah. It's unfinished, yes, it's definitely unfinished. From from what I've heard, from my knowledge, it's definitely unfinished. What I've heard and what I've 
I don't know. It's a good game if you like if you like exploration. Let's, let's just say that. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. There's some new features in it and stuff like that. And I think I think a lot of people can enjoy it. You don't know that I can pack it this way? Well, I show you. Just like that. Mm. That's not good. Guys, we're back on track. Oh, maybe not. Is that a breakable? That's not breakable. Okay. On second thought. Is that breakable? That is breakable. There we go. We're back. We're back. We made it. All right, back to the path, back to... Uh, see guys, we can do stuff like that in SnowRunner as well. You know what I'm saying? You can chart your own course, do your own things. You don't need expeditions for that. Although, if you like scouting, probably want to play expeditions. Really? <laughs> Man, we need some more coffee. That's what we're going to do too soon after we do all this good stuff here. And not so springy. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how, how that, all this stuff is developed, so I, I wouldn't know how to effectively make it that way. That's probably... But yes, I agree. Well, the thing is, like... But realistically, I don't say realistically because it's a game, but relatively, scouts need to be lighter. Scouts need to be lighter than heavier trucks, right? But the only thing is, like, there's a lot of scouts that are, they weigh less than the things that they're hauling. Like, pff, scout trailers, for instance. Or even loaded scout trailers, or... Scout trailers that have fuel tank, or the fuel tanker, the scout fuel tank, I think is heavier than some scouts. And that, I think that's that's the issue, is you're pulling something that's not directly affecting your traction, kind of like this, right? You should make a coffee call. You know what the crazy thing is, man? I'm thinking about not giving up coffee, but... I need, I'm going to need to detox from coffee, I think, at some point, just to kind of like reset myself. I feel like I drink coffee way too much. A lot. We've seen it a lot, Akimoto. We've seen it a lot. Ooh. Ooh. Actually. Do I want to go up this? I don't. Actually, I don't. I No, I do not. I do not. I don't want to go through that pass. No, I need steering. Yeah, I'll go around. I'm perfectly fine with going around. You drink half a caffeine? Oh, half decaf?
Turkish tea. I'll have to look into that. It's just, I, I think I need to decaffeinate or just, just kind of like detox from caffeine, honestly. Like, I, I need to like bring back my baseline to where I could have one cup of coffee, maybe. Like an actual cup, not... This is called the Step 310 Echo. What's up, Granted? Welcome in. I used to drink a lot of tea, actually. To be honest, back in the day, when it, whenever like Tiavana was a thing, I remember having like multiple tins of like Tiavana, and like having coffees that weren't didn't have like hardly any caffeine in them and stuff like that. And yeah, brew Turkish tea? No way. <laughs> Did someone call me? Yeah, I, I won't drink Monster Red Bull, really. I, I normally, the only energy drink I'll drink actually is called Jocko. The Jocko uh, fuel energy drinks. You've been watching a lot of my videos? Nice, man. Glad to have you in. Glad you've been enjoying them. Oh, I'm going to be so out of gas, dude. Oh, this is not, this is not good for. Okay. Let's go back and get some uh, short logs. What are we pushing short logs with? Let's see here. Uh oh. I think I just found my... My short log buddy. Left. Here. There. Up to the logging camp. I'll come back down. I'll push over this way and then up. You know, I probably should use... No, you know what? No, I'm okay. I was going to say the, the OMDs just for balance, but I'm okay. No, I, I missed my turn, but good thing this is here. Diabetes and heart, heart disease are main killers in your family? Wow, dude. <clears throat> what regions do I think will be in year four? Oh man, that's, I'm probably going to say somewhere in Europe. I think there's going to be a Europe map somewhere. I wonder if they do like a Switzerland map. That'd be kind of weird, but I do think they're going to do another United States map. I, I, I at least think there's going to be one US map that comes out. I honestly hope they do, um, another U.S. map. I would like to see, like, Pennsylvania. That'd be pretty cool. Colorado, like, a Colorado map would be good. You know what I'm saying? Even, honestly, man... To be quite honest, I think a Utah, like Utah would be a good, a good map to do like a desert. You're talking about like really big hills. They've already done Arizona on uh, an expedition, so it would kind of be very redundant. Why Pennsylvania? Because Appalachian Mountains. The Appalachian Mountains run like through, up through Pennsylvania, like and they continue downward through like West. Oh, actually, you know what? Here's a better one. West Virginia. I think West Virginia would be a great one. I 
because like the 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 North Carolina, the maps they did on North Carolina that would like simulate kind of like the Blue Ridge Mountains or like basically the Appalachian Mountains, kind of like carving through there, right? I guess Cali would be okay, but I don't know. California does have, oh, honestly, man, what about like the state of Washington? They have the Cascades up there. Do you know what I'm saying? The, that's the, the crazy thing about the state of Washington is they could make a very arid. So like if you go to like, like Spokane, so the, the, the Western side of Washington is very, it's very damp, right? It's like, I don't want to say Mediterranean climate, but I, th I think from weather, weather class in college, it's, it's kind of a lot more damp. But then like once the, you hit the mountains, like a little bit inland, it becomes like very mountainous and like pine trees and stuff like that. So yeah, it could be, I went to, actually went to survival school in Spokane and it's beautiful, man. So that, that would be my pick. I would say like Washington state, um, Colorado. Let's go this way. We're going to fly all the way through town. Hopefully this, this tower blooms this all out. We might actually send it. We're going to send it up here actually too. Yo, Tommy boy. Thank you for the follow you. Yeah. Utah would be a good one. I drove through Utah and whenever we moved, actually, you know, it'd be good. Oh man. I would say Arizona, but I would also say like Flagstaff area. Uh, this is a solo. This is a solo hard mode. Thank you though. I don't even need to all-wheel drive right now. Just kick it off. Don't need it. Let's see if I remember how to drive and not tip over. Yo, what if they made a map of Ohio, though? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would reach out to every representative from Sabre. They would get emails from me every day. I would tell them they would have to make something for me on the map. I have to be your front runner for, for videos on it. I would say, let me make a trailer. Let me make it. Actually, Ohio probably wouldn't be a good map to make, to be honest. Not a whole lot of mountains, not a whole lot of hills in Ohio, to be honest. Maybe Southern Ohio has like the rolling hills, but. Actually, Cuyahoga, like north, like central north, actually has some pretty, there's actually a couple ski. Um, ski resorts and stuff like that, hiking areas people go. They can make one of the maps called Prince. Statue called Dathan Province. That'd be pretty sweet. They would never. They would never, but it that sounds kind of cool. Uh, I might get some gas. I might go back real quick and just fill up real quick because I need to fill up my step to get back. What's up, redneck? Welcome in. Yeah, I need to fill my step up. Or at least enough to get him down off that hill because he's at like 20 gallons. So, yeah, about that. Hmm. <clears throat> Drive by? Yes. I 
No, they haven't. That'd be a good one too. Where's that at? Montana? Actually, that's another one. I'm going to say, actually, Montana. I'm actually going to retract. Yeah, I'm going to say Montana would be amazing. Montana, Wyoming. Actually would be incredible. Let's see. Just with like the... They already have the Sequoias able to, to be cargo. They need to make them more weighty, but... Yeah. <clears throat> you grew up in Western Washington? You went to school in Spokane, like you say? Yeah, I think so. I have a buddy that actually... What's up, Synth? I have a buddy that lives in Washington State. He does a lot of hunting and stuff like that. He's a, an outdoorsman. Probably one of the nicest guys I know, too. Oh, finally, the Chad game. Yeah, we're back to SR. Reap and sow will not be farming. <clears throat> if it is, I quit. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't quit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish year four. I think after year four, that's it for me. Year four is my last, my last coverage of, uh, of Snowrunner. I think any, any more is just is milking it too much. I think, I think after year three. I mean, I was even quoted saying that I wouldn't play year three and year three came out and I played year three. I think after year two, it just, it just felt that it was kind of stringing itself along. Whoa. Yo, Redneck, thank you for that prime sub. Two months, man. Thank you. They need highway maps. I mean, to be honest, man, a lot of these new maps have a lot of roads. They really do. <clears throat> uh, Turkish, I don't know. To be honest, I, I predicted that year two was going to be the last. I predicted that year three was going to be the last. <laughs> I was wrong on both. I'm going to be, I'm going to be real with you, man. As long as they're making money, I think they'll just, they'll continue to just push it out. But I don't know. I, I think you have to end it somewhere. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it can't just continue forever. And I think, I think that year four should be the end. It will be for me. It will be for me. I think, I mean, I'll probably continue to like play SnowRunner. Like, I don't think SnowRunner is ever going to go like completely away from me. But I won't be like, I won't cover anything past year four. Like if I play SnowRunner, like it, it's going to be like in my, in my leisure after that, if they continue to make things. It's just too, it's just too much work keeping up with, keeping up with everything. And yeah, next game is going to be sand runner. No, I think sand runner was, was the car. I think that that title was the car. Next, next map be Philippines or New, New Zealand would be pretty sweet. Like the South islands. Actually, no, even the North Island would be kind of crazy. New tier list at the end of year four. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the last time I produced a tier list, dude, people get so upset. Seriously, people get so upset at tier lists. But I probably will, just to make some people mad. That's the vocal minority, yeah. Euro Truck Simulator has last year since has its last year since 2015. There, what? Are you serious? Hold on. <clears throat> I don't think it's negative since the main audience, 25 plus people who does not have time to learn a new game.
Australia would be a good map. A lot of people say that, actually. <clears throat> you love my recent tier list? I'm glad you like them, man. That's the thing. It's my opinion. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on a second. All right. Yeah. I mean, it is my opinion. And it's kind of funny, like... <laughs> it's like people want me to say what they want me to say, and in my opinion, doesn't matter. And that's the thing, like, if you have a different opinion, it's fine. Just my, it's just my simple opinion. There's nothing wrong with it. No tip. Wow. Yeah, I think a whole new game would be a good idea. To be honest, like, here's the thing, man. Like, you got to think about something is this. <clears throat> you have... Three years of content. You are going to have four years of content. Okay? People, that is a thousand... That is over a thousand hours to just complete one playthrough. Anybody that has a completion of this game in under a thousand hours, or I've, I've, I've heard people completing this whole game up to year three in like 600 hours. Honestly, I don't know if I rightly believe that. Um, it's either they are using mods or they're just using the best trucks in the game and they have insane amounts of strategy. But I think for the normal player, the normal everyday guy, like four years of content, like they're not going to get through that. Like, to be honest, not a lot of people have as much time to play this game as as like the developers think. And that's like my next point is like, I do feel that SnowRunner is just it's too big of a game. It's get it's it does take too long in some forms and fashions, I guess. I don't know. I think I did this on my first playthrough of this, actually. I walked up this path here with this same truck. Whoa! I can see it now. I can already see it. So I get myself angled uphill. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it's all about angles, man. It's all about angles. How did I not tip over? Just playing this game too much, honestly. Just understanding truck balance. That's all. We got ourselves a tower. This is why tier lists are always salty. Main problem is not opinion, it's nostalgia. A lot of people rate Michigan trucks as their first love in real life, and they get mad when you say the P16 is objectively bad. People will be mad. So like, I don't think the P16 is bad. I think it's, the thing is, it's, it's hard, it's hard ranking the P16 against a truck that's in the same class like an Azov, right? 73210 is totally different than a P16. They're just vastly different. That's why I think there needs to be like a reclass of some trucks. You have 1900 hours and I've yet to get through half of the year two pass. See what I'm saying right there is like 
normal people in like four years of content are going to take <laughs> probably like the next four years to complete it. I, I, like I, I can, t I can only tell you this, like a normal person that has, that goes to work, has a family, has things to do when they come home. They don't really have much time to throw out a game. So like, I think the appeal of SnowRunner is like the slow grindy. It's very lengthy. I understand that, but like also it is very long. This is probably, this is the longest game I've ever played in my life where it legitimately takes you. It took me 75 hours to complete a more on hard mode. It took me more on normal when my first playthrough was. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. Okay, that's that. I need to, oh man, I need to bloom this out back here. I'd have to do that. Uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is we are going to stop the stream. Okay. I'm going to refire up the stream. I am going to turn on <laughs> Diablo 2. Hardwood Michigan took you 97 hours. Wow. The thing is, people can't truly understand what their opinion is without listening to others. Yeah, true. Honestly, man, like that's why, like in in, in some of, in some of those those tier lists, I, I do try to give some objective facts about them. I was really going to post a lot of uh, the collision mesh, which Naked Dave has helped me tremendously with acquiring that. But I just felt it was too much, man. It's just too much. I feel like. And then on my my scout tier list, someone told me I did a poor job of explaining the scouts. And I I, I, I I genuinely just told this person like, hey, this is not a review of these vehicles. This is just a tier list. When you look at other people's tier lists from like different games, they're like 10 minutes long. I, I literally spent an hour. <laughs> I took an hour of just talking about vehicles. No, I didn't beat expeditions. I quit expeditions. Um, the, the video on that is on my YouTube channel actually. And also my review of expeditions is on my YouTube channel as well. But yeah, we won't be, we won't be playing expeditions for the meantime. Wisconsin took 65 plus hours. Yeah. See what I'm saying? It, it does take a while, but all right, guys, here's what I'm going to do. We are going to end the stream here for snow runner. I'm going to refire up the stream. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah. And then I'm going to turn on Diablo two. We're going to do a, a little hardcore mode for a little bit. And then that's going to be it for today. So, but yeah, tech, um, I gave my reasoning for, for not wanting to play that game anymore. So hopefully people understand pretty much 90% of people. Yes. If Yar Ford fleets. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So anyways, y'all. I'm going to get off here for those watching on YouTube. Thank you guys for stopping out for episode one of uh, season 11. So we're going to try to catch up, perhaps get season 11 done soon. And then, uh, yeah, we'll continue with this. So until next time, guys, have a wonderful day. God bless. Stay upright.